Welcome back to the custom NPCs tutorial series. In this episode, we are adding custom assets into custom NPCs. So, you probably have heard or read about opening up the jar file and adding sounds and textures into the mod. This is a terrible method. First off, adding it to the jar file requires you to completely reload Minecraft every time you want to change or add something. Second, Resource Packs in the Custom NPCs folder lets you add multiple sounds under one place sound name. Can't do that in a jar file. Third, it is much easier to just tell your players to download a pack than to add these textures in yourself or distribute the mod yourself because you have injected your own assets. Fourth, you make me angry and an angel loses their wings every time you open up the jar file. The two proper methods are to add it into the custom NPCs slash assets folder or to add it into a resource pack. For either of the two proper methods, none of your file names nor folders can have any capital letters. This is what causes the purple and black texture error so many people have. For whatever reason, Minecraft does not like files or folders with capital letters. And because custom NPCs will be updated, after 1.12 it also does not like any special characters. Only A through Z, 0 through 9, underscore, dash, and period. Let's go over the first method. In the .minecraft directory, there is a folder named Custom NPCs. Inside, you'll find a folder where your client clones are saved and an Assets folder. Go into Assets, then into Custom NPCs. You must place your textures inside of this Textures folder. You can make any folders you want inside of that folder, but all your textures must be in the Textures folder. Not doing so will result in weird behavior. At the time of making this video, adding textures outside of assets slash custom NPCs will crash the game when you try to load them. To add sounds, the sounds must go into the sounds folder. You can make any folder you want in here for organization. All sounds must be .ogg files. Use an online converter or a tool like Audacity to convert your sound files if need be. To actually load the sounds into Minecraft, you need to edit the sounds.json. Skip to here for the tutorial. The second method is creating a resource pack. Now I know creating a resource pack might sound scary, but trust me, it is dead simple. Make a folder in your resource packs folder. Create a text file called pack.mcmeta. Make sure file extensions are not hidden so you can change the .txt. Okay, and here's what you type. Open and close bracket, then inside, in quotations, pack, colon, another open and close bracket, quotations, pack underscore format, colon, and this number here depends on what Minecraft version you are using. On screen now is the number corresponding to the Minecraft versions. Then comma, go down a line, quotations, description, colon, and then in quotations you could put whatever you want here. This is the pack description that shows up when selecting a resource pack. All right, and we are done. We have a resource pack now. Now that we've created a pack.mc meta, we need to add a couple more folders in order to add textures. So I'll make a folder called Assets. And then in here, you can make a folder named whatever you want. If you name it something like Minecraft or Custom NPCs, it will show up under that folder when selecting a texture. But you can make your own folder. For example, here, I'm going to put CNPCs. Then in that folder you created, you need to make a folder called Textures. And here is where you can add all your texture files, and you can organize it however you want. In the current version, not doing these extra steps with the folders will cause the game to crash as soon as you try to select a texture. Sound is what gets a little more complicated, but don't worry. Okay, all of your sounds must go into assets slash Minecraft slash sounds, so create those folders. Add all your .ogg files into here. You can make new folders in here to organize, but they must be within assets slash Minecraft slash sounds. 
then an asset slash Minecraft make a sounds.json file. And this is the format for your sounds.json. Open and closed bracket. In quotations, the play sound name. This is what you type for the play sound command and what Minecraft will show when you're selecting a sound. Colon, open and closed bracket. Go down a line, quotations, sounds, colon, open and closed square bracket. Go down a line, quotation, sound file name. This is the name of the actual file in the assets slash Minecraft slash sounds folder. You don't need to put the .ogg, but the file name has to be exact. And we have now successfully added a sound into our sounds.json. I'm now going to go over a couple variations you will probably use in sounds.json. If you put your sounds into any custom folders, like for example sounds slash bandit, then the sound file name has to specify the path. So here, you would type bandit slash sound file name. If you want multiple sounds to be under one play sound name, for example, having multiple different hurt sounds under just the name hurt so that they'll play randomly, you just add a comma at the end of the quotation, go to a new line, and type out the next sound name. Don't add a comma on the last line though. You can add as many sounds as you want. So in this example, we're gonna have three sounds that can play whenever I play the sound hurt. So we're gonna make our open and closed bracket in quotations, hurt, colon, open and closed bracket, quotation sound, colon, square bracket, quotations, bandit slash hurt, comma, go down a line, quotations, bandit slash hurt again, comma, go down a line, quotations, bandit slash hurt, double whammy. Notice I did not put a comma on the last line. Now if we go into Minecraft, every time I play the hurt sound, one of the three sounds is selected randomly each time. To add multiple separate sounds, the format is like so. Copy everything from the play sound name to the bracket that closes it off, go down a line and paste it, and above put a comma in between them. Notice that I did not copy and paste the first two brackets here as those encapsulate all the sound files. Only copy and paste the brackets that contain sounds and the sound file name. And remember, do not put a comma on the last item in the list, only put commas between items. If your sound file is long, like longer than a couple seconds, it's a good idea to tell Minecraft to stream it, so that it loads it as it plays and not try to load the entire sound at once, because that can cause the game to freeze for a couple of seconds every time it is played. To do that, you add this. So in the square brackets for the sounds, put two more brackets, in quotations name, colon, quotations sound file name, comma, Quotations, stream, colon, true. Now if you notice, when selecting a sound on an NPC, there are multiple different categories here. You can have custom NPCs or Minecraft, and if you have any other mods installed, you'll have categories for those mods. You can actually create your own categories. To do that, make a new folder in assets, name it whatever you want that category to be named, and put a sounds.json there. The sound files still have to be in assets slash minecraft slash sounds, but whatever sounds are listed in this sounds.json will appear under the other folder. You can split up your sounds into different sounds.json as well, in case you want to have multiple different folders. You will also have to specify that when using the play sound command. So if you make a folder called cnpcs and then put a sounds.json in there, you'll have to type slash play sound cnpcs, colon, play sound name, category, player, position, etc, etc. And that is how you add custom assets into custom NPCs. Thank you for watching. The next video will be a brief overview of the availability options.